Man, is this thing on? Welcome to part two of the daily grind, making a logo in Clip Studio Paint. In the first video, we started with a simple sketch and managed to complete the line work. So if you haven't seen the first installment, I recommend you go back and check it out. So for part two, we will continue to build upon that line work by inking it and finally applying some color. See you at the finish line. I think we're ready to apply some ink, uh, but before we start putting ink to page, what we're going to do is we are going to unlock our pencil layer, our initial pencil layer. All right. And what I'm going to just go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and combine my blue and red ink into one layer. So I'm going to do that by doing control E. All right. So now I have one layer that I can control uh, for my pencils. If you notice it is on multiply. We are going to lower the opacity once again. And I think 30% is pretty good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new ink layer from the layer section. But instead of selecting a raster layer, this time we are going to create a vector layer. So you have the raster button here and to the right we have the vector layer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select that and I'll tell you why shortly. We're gonna give it a name. We're gonna call this layer ink. We're gonna hit enter. Now, one of the things that sets Clip Studio apart from the rest is its vector tools, similar to what you would see in Adobe Illustrator. I love the vector tools. So at this point, you can select any pen that you want. Uh, Clip Studio Paint has a number of options in terms of pens, as you can see. But what we're going to do is we're going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to click my figure tool right here under the figure section and directional draw. I'm going to click curve. All right. I think I'm going to bump my line down to about five pixels and everything else looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave those the same. Now, I know you may have heard me say vector 50 million times, but riddle me this. Have you ever edited a picture, made it bigger, shrunk it back down, blew it back up, and it lost picture quality? Of course. The picture came out blurry and not usable, and now you have to explain to your boss why you missed that deadline on that PowerPoint presentation. The reason for this is because that picture is pixel-based, made up of small little dots, it's not the gist of vector-based objects. Vector files are based on geometry, math, two plus two is equal to four all day long and twice on Sunday. Doesn't matter if you increase, decrease the size of the image, the image remains the same and that is the beauty. Now, the vector tools in this program are pretty powerful. Check this out. And this works for any brush or tool when you're working in the vector layer. In the eraser tool palette, there are a number of options to choose from. Since we are in the vector layer, we are going to choose the vector erase tool. As you can see, with just a quick swipe over the line you want to erase, it removes that portion of the line up to where it intersects the next line. This alone is going to be a time saver, truly powerful. I don't know about you guys, but it's hard to draw without some music. So let's get it.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, if you notice, I've been working on one side of the drone, okay? And that's, there's a reason why I decided to do it that way. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to shrink this down just a tad bit, right? So just to save time, I'm just going to use my elliptical tool, right? Rectangular elliptical tool, and I'm going to select my current ink layer. All right, I'm going to do a copy paste, Control C V, right? As you can see, the the uh, image got a little darker. All right, I'm going to do a transform and do a Command T on it. All right. Once I do that, I am going to my flip it horizontally. And as you can see, all right, I have two images paired together. And I'm just gonna simply move it over. All right, and I'll do a bit of cleaning up. Once it looks halfway decent, all right. You select, all right. To my move tool, right? Just to okay. All right, so that looks about right. All right, it's almost symmetrical. Okay. All right, so notice I have two ink layers. I have the main and I have a copy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, well, no, I'm going to hold off on that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to continue to finish the base ink. You know, just for the sake of time, you know, you figure out things that you can do to, um, get things done a little bit faster. And if I wasn't recording this video, I probably would be moving a tad bit faster than what I am right now, which is not saying a lot, but again, it's all good. So as you can see, how powerful the vector tools are in this. Who needs to draw a perfect circle by hand anymore when you have vector tools, right? For this portion of the drawing, I'm going to be leaning heavily on the lasso field tool to quickly fill in all of my shadows.
I went back and made some corrections to the overall design. Unfortunately, it didn't get recorded. I could have sworn I hit the record button, but it happens. And so it's time to color. Hope everyone enjoyed the video. Until next time, be sure to like, subscribe, and join the Exit 160 movement. Peace.